We are underway. Just about 183 miles separating these two schools. Penn State will get the first possession. As we noted for Penn State, their leading scorer, Jalen Pickett, a guy who they were trying to get rolling, gets fouled, and that was a dream start for the Nittany Lions. He has struggled, and they really want to get the ball in his hands. Just get the ball in his hands. Here you just see a simple ball screen action into a 15-foot jump shot. Intercepted into the hands of the leading scorer for the Big Red, Chris Mannon, who falls away in the paint, knocks down the jet. And that's how they want to play. Cornell wants to get out, push that ball. It's nine is... Probably the only player on this Cornell roster who can match up with Hera. Threw it away that time, and it leads to a Seth Lundy bucket at the other end. Seth Lundy returned the most points from a season ago on this Penn State team. Knocks down his first J of the game. 6-2 start for Penn State. Get what he wanted, a little fadeaway. Really good patience. Manning utilizing his shoulder to end a bit of a drop there for Cornell over the past couple of minutes. Cornell likes to get up and down. Ryan talked about his defensive keys to the Big Red. Lundy fires and drills the tree right on cue. Jalen Pickett, who had the first bucket of the game, offs it down low to White, who's able to get that to go. You can see more players over at the scores table getting set to check in. Cornwall wide open, able to get that to drop. And the ball was in whose hands? Cornell trying to answer, and they do with a three of their own. Keller Boothby, who's known as a pure shooter. That's what he does. Block! Cornell looking for back-to-back -back threes. Couldn't find it, but Kobe Dixon here to clean up the glass. Their leading rebounder. Make it very difficult for the jump shot. Dalian Johnson drains the trail. Again, the shot clock's at 10. Again, the fastest-paced team at Cornell, and they're waiting for the shot clock to get all the way down. Good defensive possession. Cornell still scores on it. Well, they go with three captains. Kobe Dixon, another, has the ball right now. Long-range J from Dean Noel. Dean Noel buckets. did a great job of just setting up that cut in the Princeton office to just cut hard. Both of those were hard cuts that resulted in a three for Cornell. Really good offense. 10-3 run for the Big Red. Make it 13-3, and they're up by two. Beautiful cut, and the finish. And that play right there, when you're playing against this Princeton, Princeton offense, you lose vision, you don't see the ball, it's a great pass by Kobe Dixon. Really, really good pass, but it's just a hard cut. And granted, a, a D3 team, but that's a big win nonetheless. And playing with a lot of energy right now. Another three goes down. This time, Nazir Williams has to go back to the 2010 NCAA tournament. Knocked off Wisconsin in the second round. Hera has something to say about that. Trying to get himself involved. A chance to make the seven point. Game. To take what, at one point, was a ten point lead. Here's Lundy to the rim. Couldn't finish. There's the Big Ten's leading offensive rebounder. Goes up strong and will go to the line once again. I love when a big fella eats. Possession game now. Kobe Dixon doesn't take a lot of threes, but knocks it down there. State head coach Micah Shrewsbury talked to us earlier today about their 81-56 loss to UMass. The second game of the season as Lundy drives and converts. Said that in moments like this, Cornell goes up 10 now. It's a six-point game. Working against Guy Raglan, the freshman. Three opens up for Lundy. And he gets it to go. Fourth three of the game for Penn State, and it's a three-point game. Dolan sneaking his way into the paint. That was pretty. Really good finish again. And if you look at the pace, they're scoring with 22 seconds on the clock. They're still playing fast. Seven-point game. Cornell is led by as much as 10. Sesame steps back, trying to get himself involved. That might be just what he needed there. Under 10 on the shot clock again for Penn State. This is when the Cornell defense has been at its best. Sesame tees it up. Drills the tray is second of the game. Sometimes you just have to see the ball go through the basket. Trying to answer is Williams, and he does just that. Cornell has led for much of this first half. Sesums again. They went under, and he made them pay. Just simple action again. 
Sessoms looking for his fourth three. He got it. Ball into the hands of Dean Noel. Goes the length of the floor. Blocked by Lundy. Once a goaltending call, but they won't get one. Win one start on the season under their first year head coach, Micah Shrewsbury. Nice little two man game there from Pickett and Hera. And Hera converts. Great footwork down low. He was able to split the double team with his feet. Really good job, and now great defensive energy by him as well. Five point edge for the Indy Lions. Seth Lundy tees up for three and drains it. Seth Lundy, one of just five players in the Penn State roster who played a season ago. A lot of turnover as Patel gets to the rim. Great answer there by Cornell. That's a great look for Lenny. He's just got to make it. Boothby had a three in the first half. The board finds Dolan, and he makes it a four-point game. Just a gritty team by Cornell. They got down by eight. Now it's down to four. A turnover at the other end. Dean Knoll tracked all the way back. You mentioned really good answer. Here's Patel. Continues the answer. It's a 7-0 run to be exact. Another turnover on back-to-back -back possessions. Patel tees up another. Got it! Then, you know, relocate. That's where he got a couple of threes as well. Cornell likes those back cuts. This time on the finishing end is Nazir William. Cornell's largest lead was 10. Penn State at one point led by 8. Sessoms lobs it up on the finishing end is Jelani White. Two-point game, Cornell trying to answer. That one couldn't quite go down for Dean Noel, but the follow-up attempt does, and a free throw coming up. Cornell, Princeton offense, you would not say fastest in the country. Oh, Jelani White answers. He was trying to go for a second consecutive dunk. Blocks from behind by White. Shot clock won't reset. They go right back to Manning, who's able to finish. He baked down the final stretch for Cornell. Whipping it around, Lundy, little flyby. Lundy drains the tray. They attacked the press there. They got to the paint. They went to the corner. They swung around for a wide open three. High game. Patel has something to say about that, though. Answers right back. Sessoms at 12 in the first half, kicks out to Dredd. Lundy, the offensive board, goes up strong, makes it a one-point game. Chris Manning, little fall away, Jay couldn't connect, flying in goes Dixon. Nonetheless, it's been a key part of what is now a five-point lead for Cornell. All year, Penn State is plus 11 rebounding margin. Patel came up short. Another board, though. First man in an aggressive score. Goes right to the low post against Pickett. And wins the battle. Really good patience. It's Penn State team shooting 50% from the field on the game. Sessoms blocked by Dixon. Rebound finds Pickett. Doesn't really have anyone with him, so he takes it himself and gets an and one opportunity. Yeah, this is a game that Penn State should have dominated the glass. And, and you look at it, Cornell still beating him 33 to 30 on the board. The guard from Philadelphia finds Dread. One on the shot clock. Sessoms hoist and hits. Manning trying to answer, got the roll. Seth Lundy leading all Penn State scores with 23. Under five to play. Sessoms looking for another. Book it! Kick it, pumps, kicks, dread a three. Got it to go! Board to Nazir Williams. He'll take it himself, swatted away by Pickett. Under two minutes to go, a big block. Great defense by Pickett. Two for two after Cornell at the opposite end had gone 0 for two with the free throw line. Dolan was blocked. Hera at six foot nine there to swat it out of bounds.
Patel was a key part of the Cornell effort tonight. Well, Penn State will come out on top.